Dear children, this is the scratch.mit.edu interface and we are going to learn to add text to our backdrop. So I am clicking over here create to create a new project and I have signed it with my signed in with my username. So I am going to first name this project as text to the backdrop. Okay, you can give the name of your choice also, but make sure you add the word text because adding a text to the backdrop. And now we don't need this sprite, so you can delete or keep it if you want to. Now go to the backdrop and choose a plain backdrop on which you want to add the text. So click the backdrops. Now I'm using this baseball coat here. Now I want to add the title over here in this place. So again, go to this backdrop icon only, but keep your backdrop selected, scroll up, go to the backdrops over here next to the code and here you will see this text. So click on this text, just double click on this area and write baseball. You can write any text of your choice. I'm adding baseball championship and as you can see the color is not matching over here so you can select the whole text and change the color of your text from here we have the fill option see you can adjust it You can also change the font style also. I'm just going to first increase it a little bit and shift the text a little bit down by dragging it. And now here I can click and this will allow me to give different handwriting. So you can check over here, I'm going to use this pixel to create a gaming kind of effect and that's how it is done. Okay, once done, once you're happy, click somewhere else or I don't see this color is not matching properly. I'm going to blend it towards a little darker side or lighter. Yeah, that's it. So that's how you can add the text. You can check it always in your text area whether it is working properly or not. Go back to the code and now you, if you want to you can add a sprite and write a code for it. Once done click save now. You can either choose this right hand side top above option of save now like this. It will get saved or you can go to the file and click save now. Once you are done saving you can click the share button and copy the link and send it in the Google form.